name is Dr. Lester Hartman from Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics, and today we're going to talk about hives. This is strictly for patients of Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics, and if you go to another practice, you may want to seek the advice of your pediatrician or other clinician. Hives are basically welts. They look like large bug, bug bites, and they will oftentimes coalesce or come together. The key thing about hives is that they come and they go. If you mark a place where a big, red, warm, um, mildly raised area is that's itchy, um, if you mark that area on your child, three hours later, it'll be gone because the rash migrates. It comes and it goes and it comes and it goes. I urge you to look at the rash basics um, sla, um, um, YouTube video that will show you how to determine when a rash is serious and when it's not. Oftentimes when parents see their children developing hives they get scared because the hives are spreading. Very very rarely is this a serious reaction. The key to all this is if your child is acting fine and has hives it's very unlikely to be something serious because children where you fear their throats may close up or they're going to have difficulty breathing, things like this, um, they're going to look scared. Kids like this aren't scared and especially this is easier to be able to diagnose when kids are three and older. So most of what I'm talking about this video is for three and older. Also high spread. They can be in one place in the body and they can go over, all over the place in the body, cover the entire body and, and three hours later be gone. Remember, it's not how your child looks, it's how your child acts as well. You know, a lot of times parents ask several questions. Could this be an allergy to foods? Oftentimes that's a very common default simply because we hear about it so much in the news. In somebody that's had a rash, hives rash for several hours and is acting okay, it's extremely unlikely to be a food. Extremely unlikely. In fact, 95% of the time, kids who have hives, we don't find an answer for them. And drawing blood is notoriously inaccurate and can create false positives where, where a test can appear to be positive and the child has hives and they're not related and cause food restrictions in children that aren't necessary. Kids who have serious food allergies, for example, to nuts or fish or eggs, things like this, have other symptoms. They have hives, swelling of the face, and they're starting to panic and get nervous because they feel they don't feel right as well. Most of the kids who have hives feel fine. What triggers it? We don't know for sure, but we suspect low-grade viruses. If you had a cold a week ago, or if you've had diarrhea, these things are almost like allergic reactions to the viruses. How long can this last? Weeks. Oftentimes we suggest you use Zyrtec daily if your child's having prolonged hives. And especially if they're trying to sleep at night, because it doesn't make it, they don't get so sleepy with things like Zyrtec, which may take a day or two to fully work, um, but it is very helpful in reducing hives. Kids can have hives up to six weeks. As long as they don't have fever and joint swelling with associated pain, we don't generally have to worry about hives. And as you can see in the picture at the beginning of this discussion, this is the type of rash of what hives looks like. We ask also again that you look at the rash basics to really understand a little bit more about how to determine what the type of rash is that your child has. Remember, the basic reason that we are um, treating kids for hives is so they can look better um, um, cosmetically, not because they can act better. And also sometimes with kids, if they're really uncomfortable, it helps them sleep. And you can give Benadryl at night, uh, even after giving Zyrtec um, as well. Follow the directions. Again, when to worry? Fever, joint pain, or joint pain associated with the rash, or the rash being non-blanching. In other words, as I say in rash basics, you put your two thumbs together, push down really hard on that red, mildly raised rash, pull your thumbs apart, but keep them taut, push down really hard in the skin the whole time you're pulling apart, and look and see if the rash is white in between your thumbs. Spread it about an inch, and you will see that most rashes will go away, and thus this is not um, a concerning um, uh, problem. 
And of course, if you have questions, feel free to always call us. This is Dr. Lester Hartman from Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. We're proactive in your child's care, empowering families for over 50 years. Have a good day.